Hi, I'm Anna and I'm from YSCV. I'm here today at York Creative Collision Festival 2022 at the TFTI department on Campus East. I'm going to be interviewing some people and finding out all of the creativeness which is going on at the festival. My name is Ione Vaughan and I am Internal Festival Coordinator for York Radio Collision Festival 2022. Do you want to follow us and we'll Morning, get guys. going in? So we've got a lot of beautiful art around us. What was, what's all this from? Um, so this was created through a collaboration with Norman Ray Gallery, which is a student, the only actually student-led uh, gallery in the UK. Um, we wanted to collaborate with them because we've been to some of their events just as, as students and as, as fans of their work. Um, and they always create such an amazing atmosphere. My name is Lorne and I'm one of the festival producers. We called it York Creative Collision because we wanted it to be an event that is all about celebrating work by artists of a huge range from theatre to music to physical art, poetry, and it's about bringing these creative communities together so they can network, meet each other and make connections essentially. So this is um, our I guess, map of memories. This map is really to help represent all of the wonderful experiences that people have in York. I think we should probably put YSTV on here. So this is the collision couch. We took it into the city centre and we've taken it like kind of around and people have had the opportunity to draw all over it and sign it. I am here outside TFTI with Alice, our third and final producer. This afternoon we've got a talk from Tom Bird, who's the Chief Executive of Yacht Theatre Royal. And then tomorrow we have a talk from um, a networking Yacht Creatives, which is like a networking like community. So we have comedy stock tonight, uh, so we've got the Shambles and the Dead Ducks coming to do a comedy show for us, which we are so excited about. Um, and last night we had things like drag, we've had spoken word, we had an open mic yesterday. There's been all sorts going on. I'm here on the Creative Collision couch with T-Stain Theatre. Hello guys, what are your names? I'm Jessie. And I'm Becca. So what projects are you working on at the moment? So our next show is in, what is it, four weeks time? Mm -hmm. um, and that's called Thirst, and that is a queer love story set in the 1700s and then the 20th century and then the uh, modern day. And uh, it's about climate anxiety and um, a water bottle company. What's your advice for people looking to get involved? We love meeting people that make work and it's just like just say hi, introduce yourself, like I love an Instagram DM. I have um, developed a, a theatre company called Fox Club Theatre um, with two of my course mates actually. Um, we have a run of a show called The Brink by Brad Birch and it's happening at Theatre 41. There is so much talent in York. Like, everyone is so local to here, mm -hmm. um, and my takeaway from just this entire festival and all the events I've been to is there's so many hidden gems of talent in York. We have nine shows. The last two are actually um, kind of like classics of the theatre world. A lot, of, a lot of the others are all very contemporary, so it's nice to have them in the mix, especially for older audiences. A lot of people are bringing their parents. Something that is obviously very difficult and there has been a lot of change recently is um, how art is and, and theatre especially is treated in the north. Um, there has been some really good development um, about respecting um, the institutions up here um, and also um, of, of grassroots um, theatre companies, people you know like people from my course and, and their teams not feeling like they have to go to London to be successful. Well I've had a great day here at York Creative Collision Festival. I've met some amazing people, learned some amazing things. I hope you guys have as well. Make sure that you follow all of their social medias to keep up to date and subscribe to YSTV.